what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's caribbean kool-aid and today we're going to be talking about the case of keishla rodriguez a beautiful young woman who at the time of her disappearance and ultimately her death was expecting her first child let's get into it this took place on the beautiful island of puerto rico Puerto Rico is known for its beautiful beaches, delicious Latin food, breathtaking views, and it's home to many great athletes. Puerto Rico is home to some of the top boxers in the world. This is where Keishla Rodriguez met Felix Ferdejo, a lightweight boxer who represented Puerto Rico at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. According to Keishla's family, Felix and Keishla had known each other for many years. They were in an on and off relationship for a very long time. But during the course of their relationship, Felix also met another woman by the name of Elise, which he ended up making his wife. So Elise and Felix get married and start a family together. They became parents to a beautiful baby girl. According to friends and family, Felix and Keishla remained friends, and some say that Keishla became his mistress. During the course of this love triangle, Keishla reveals to Felix and her family that she's pregnant. Keishla was happy. She wanted to become a mom. Keishla comes from a very close, loving family. She's one of three children, and she herself was looking forward to having a child of her own. So when she found out that she was pregnant by Felix, she was very happy. However, the feelings were not mutual, and Felix apparently wasn't happy about this. Fast forward to April 29, 2021, when Keishla didn't show up at work, her co-workers were alarmed because Keishla was very responsible and she was always on time. She worked at a pet salon as a groomer. Keishla loved pets. She had two dogs of her own and loved to rescue animals. So when she didn't show up that morning, her sister and her mom were contacted and a missing persons report was filed with the local police department. According to Keishla's mom, her and Keishla had a conversation that morning of Thursday, April 29th. And during that call, Keishla told her mom that she was meeting Felix that morning to talk about the pregnancy. In this interview, Keishla's mom tells the reporter that she told Keishla to be careful, and the reason why she told her to be careful was because allegedly Felix had already threatened her in the past. Okay, so Keishla doesn't show up for work. She is then reported missing by her family, which leads to a huge outpouring of support from her friends, family, and strangers. They all want to help find her. See, Keishla and her mom were always in communication, so her mom knew exactly what was going on that morning. Of course, her first instinct was to call Felix and ask him about Keishla. When he denied knowing her whereabouts, Keishla's mom quickly became concerned and she was very vocal about it. The authorities quickly identified Felix as a person of interest in Keishla's disappearance. That Friday, he was seen walking out of the San Juan Criminal Investigation Headquarters, and according to Captain Luis Diaz Munoz of the Criminal Investigation Unit, Felix was not cooperating with the investigation. Unfortunately, Keishla's body was discovered floating in the San Jose Lagoon, which is right under the Teodoro Moscoso Bridge. For anyone familiar with this area, this is the bridge that leads to the San Juan International Airport. The next day, Felix turned himself into law enforcement on the islands. According to a federal complaint, Felix is accused of punching Keishla, injecting her with substances, tying her body to a block, and throwing her from the bridge into the lagoon. He's facing charges of kidnapping resulting in death carjacking resulting in death, and killing an unborn child. The charges carry a maximum penalty of death, but according to federal prosecutors, it doesn't seem that they will be pursuing the death penalty. In the complaint, the FBI relied on information from a witness. The agency describes this witness as a person with, and I quote, first-hand personal knowledge of what took place. According to this witness, Felix contacted him and requested his help to terminate the pregnancy. The witness cooperated with the FBI and told everything. He said that Felix and Keishla met on Thursday morning in Felix's black Durango SUV. And while inside the vehicle, Felix, 
the Olympic boxer known for knocking people out in the ring, punched her in the face. She was then injected with a syringe filled with substances, which were not specified in the complaint, but later it was released that Keishla was injected with heroin and fentanyl. Then, Felix and the witness tied her hands and feet with wire. They tied a block to her and loaded her body into her car. Then the witness and Felix drove both cars onto the Teodoro Moscoso Bridge, which spans the San Jose Lagoon near San Juan. According to the complaint, they tossed Keishla into the water. Then Felix shot her with a pistol from the bridge, according to that complaint. It was later determined that she ultimately died by immersion asphyxia, as the blocks tied to her drowned her. The two men abandoned Keishla's car, which was found a day later. Law enforcement officials were able to use cell phone data to piece together where Keishla traveled and with whom she had spoken to before she disappeared. The information from Keishla's phone led law enforcement officials directly to Felix and to the bridge. Surveillance video from the bridge shows a dark SUV similar to Felix's SUV parked on the emergency lane of the bridge. It also shows movement of at least one person on the side of the vehicle. By Sunday night, Felix was in custody. He turned himself in and is currently awaiting trial. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and his trial is set for 2023. This case was one that really caught the attention of the entire island of Puerto Rico and beyond. Not only did a young, beautiful, vibrant woman lose her life, but also an unborn child. And at the hands of someone who she trusted, who the people of Puerto Rico admired as a young man who had made a name for himself as a professional boxer. To use his talent to end someone's life is truly heartbreaking. And not just anyone, but the mother of his child, someone who had been there for him and loved him. This is a sad situation all around. I pray for justice in this case. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll make sure to keep you updated on this case. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, stay blessed.